Hi, right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to this channel, you guys will know that I've been doing this mini series that I like to do where I rank every single player from each position. I've already done the point guards. Now it's time to do the shooting guards. So you guys see the thumbnail. You guys see the title. Let's get straight into it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, enjoy the content. All right, y'all, so we're here. It took me a while to find an actual good shooting guards tier list with actual damn shooting guards on it, not ones where there's point guards or small forwards, but we're here. We got a pretty good list here. We're starting off with Donovan Mitchell. I'm already struggling. This is this is insane. I'm going to put Donovan Mitchell right here at A. I'm going to put him at A because I think that I'm going to put three other people in S tier. Um, I think Donovan Mitchell is a very good player. I really hope that he doesn't get traded from the Utah Jazz. If he does, I would prefer him to probably go to the Miami Heat. I would actually like that a lot. Um, I think that he fits really, really well with them. But if he says Utah Jazz, it's fine by me. Next person is Devin Vassell. I haven't really watched any, you know, Spurs basketball in a very, very long time. So I don't, I'm not really familiar with this man, Devin Vassell. But what I do know, what I have seen from him, I think that he can, you know, blossom into a very good NBA player. He's probably going to have a very good season this year because there's not going to be any DeJounte Murray. So that's a big plus for that. But for now, Devin Vassell is going to be in C. Um, Gary... I was going to call him Gary Payne for a second. I'm going to put him at B for now. He's actually one of my favorite players in the whole entire league. If you know, you know. I think he's due for a very big year with the Toronto Raptors. The way that he plays basketball is my type of style that I like to, you know, fall in love with pause. Um, when it comes to basketball players, he can basically do it all. And I like that. A guy I'm not a fan of is this Nick Grayson Allen. I don't like him. This video did a complete 180. He is one of my least favorite players in the whole entire league because... When we first got to the league, he was shitting on Grant Williams. Y'all saw this video. I'm going to put it up right here. Y'all saw him try to fuck my man Grant Williams up. Y'all saw him try to fuck Trey Young up in the summer league, both times actually. And Trey Young slapped his ass around. And so did the Boston Celtics in the second round. You were light work. You were food for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So thank you for that. A lot of people are expecting him to be at S tier, but I'm going to put him at A tier. I think that he's just below the other guys because of the season that he just had. I think it was, I think he's probably coming off one of his, you know, more disappointing seasons. He was shut down because of an injury. He just got a big bag. So get your bag, son. You know what I'm saying? But does he deserve that bag? Does he play at a max contract level? Like, I'm not talking about just a max contract. I'm talking about a super max. Is he worth it? I personally don't think that he's worth that. I still think he's a very good player. I think he is still one of the top seven, top 10 point guards, point guards, shooting guards in the league. Colin Sexton, I'm going to put him at B. I don't really know what the future holds with him and the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's just coming off an injury and it doesn't really look like the Cavaliers are trying to give him a deal. I don't know if it's going to be like a long-term deal, short-term deal. It looks like they kind of prefer Karis LeVert over him. And it looks like if he were to get a deal, he would be coming off the bench as a six man. Shout out to P. He actually called that right when he was drafted um i have to give flowers to when they're due seth curry um i'm gonna put him at b as well i think that he's a very very good shooting guard i think he can be a starting shooting guard on a championship team the only bad thing about him is his defense but he can shoot lights out 40 percent three-point shooter we all know this he's a fucking curry for god's sake i mean come on next up we got Jaden ivy i don't really know how what he's going to be able to bring to the table he hasn't played a lick of basketball yet at the nba level um, do I put him at C? Do I put him at B? I personally think he has a higher ceiling than Grayson Allen. So fuck it. I'm going to put him at, I'm going to put him at C. I don't really give a damn. Fuck Grayson Allen. And we're going to send all the praise to Jay Nivey. And he's actually probably going to be one of the main reasons why I watch Detroit basketball. Him and that their team is actually getting really, really good. So stay tuned for them. Tim Hardaway Jr. I haven't really seen anything from him this whole entire season because he's been injured. But, um, I want to put him at B. Devin Booker, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it the first guy to be in S tier conversation. I think Devin Booker is one of the best players in all of basketball. I think he's one of the best players on this damn list. Uh, I think he's a top five point guard. Why do I keep saying point guard? Shooting guard in the damn league. Um, the cover of 2K23, which we're not getting, by the way. Not to mention, guy just came off one of his best seasons, one of his most efficient seasons. And he finished top five in MVP voting, which puts him at S tier. There's going to be a couple other players in S tier, so stay tuned. DeJounte Murray, you're not really a shooting guard. I didn't even notice he was in this damn video. Where do I put him? Okay, we need to figure out something because this nigga's not a this nigga's not a shooting guard at all. He's not a shooting guard, so where the hell do I put him? Should I make my own? How do I make my own? 
what am I doing right now? This is wild. Okay, so I made my own tier for motherfuckers who ain't shooting guards. And I don't know how many people on this list. I haven't really looked at everyone who isn't a shooting guard. But this nigga DeJounte Murray is not no damn shooting guard. He's a point guard. We gonna put him at the he ain't no shooting guard list motherfucker he ain't no damn shooting guard he might be playing shooting guard this year so i might look like a dumbass when i put this on here kcp shooting guard honestly i don't think he's at the level of these guys but i think he's a very very good role player so i'm gonna put him at c i think he's a very very good role player i think he was a amazing piece to that 2020 championship lakers team next guy that i'm putting at s tier and people i don't know if people are gonna like this one is Klay Thompson coming off a championship. But I do believe that Klay Thompson is still one of the best shooting guards in the whole entire league. Um, he showed it time and time again. Even coming off an Achilles and a torn ACL, he's still doing the damn thing, bro. Shooting like he was Klay back in the day. He's going to continue doing that. He's going to do that next year and years to come. He's an S tier. I don't care what y'all say. He's an S tier. Legend, Evan Fournier. I'm going to put you at C, my boy, because you play absolutely no defense. But when you get hot, you don't stop, like my man Payne Pritchard. There was this one game he had where he was shooting lights out. I think it was against the Suns. I think it was against the Suns in the regular season. He could not miss. And every time he goes against my Boston Celtics, it was either him or it was Kemba Walker who was feasting on my niggas, bro. Every single time. Every shot he put up in transition. This is man Anthony Edwards who's going in A. I don't care what y'all say. Anthony Edwards is up there. Anthony Edwards is that guy. The only problem that I have with Anthony Edwards is his inconsistency. He needs to fix that. He really does need to fix that because the shots that he takes when he misses are absolutely horrible shots. His shot selection is terrible. But when it goes in, it goes in. It's just like Jason Tatum when he was in his third season. The offensive keys are kind of going to him now that they got Rudy Gobert on the team. Jalen Suggs, I don't know why you're smiling at me like that, my nigga, but you haven't played a lick of basketball. Harry Rozier, Celtics legend. You're going in C, buddy. You're you're the same exact way as Anthony Edwards, but you're less of a scorer than him. Desmond Bain, you're going in B. One of my favorite players in the whole entire league. He could have been a Celtics legend, but we let him go. We traded his draft pick away. I'm so upset about that. But the year that he had was a most improved player award year. He should have won it, if you ask me. I think he should have won it over John Morant. And there's a whole reason why John Morant put that damn trophy in his house and kept it there. Because he was the rightful and deserving winner of that award. Desmond Bain shooting absolutely lights out from three. He's one of the big reasons why the Memphis Grizzlies were absolutely amazing this whole entire season. And I cannot wait to see more from him. James Harden. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our second player in the he ain't no damn shooting guard list. He's a point guard now. Y'all already know that shit. So why the hell is he in this list, bro? But honestly, if we was going off of James Harden, he gonna be up here. But we gonna put him down here for now because current James Harden is a point guard. We all know this. Shea going in A. I've been preaching this for the very longest time. If y'all wanted to see my breakout video, if you guys wanted to go back and watch my point guard video, I've talked nothing but good things about this man, Shea Gillis Alexander, because he is the truth. I think he's on the level of these guys, and I really do think that he has a very bright future ahead of him, and his ceiling is, like, so damn high to where you can't even see it when you look up. Herb Jones, GOAT. I'm going to put you right here, my boy, because you still got a little bit to do on the offensive end. Um, I've talked very highly of him because he's a very good defender. Like I said in my last video, you guys can go watch that if you want. He's a demon on the defensive end of the ball. He does that thing. But when it comes to actual shooting, I think that he has improvements to make. I think it's there. I think the recipe is there. But I genuinely do think that he can get better in that field. When we're talking about shooting guards... Jalen Brown, the third guy to go in S tier. Ladies and gentlemen, I love it. I love it. Actually, I'm going to notch Klay Thompson down. I'm going to put him in A. I don't think that Klay Thompson deserves to be in A because I don't think he deserves to be in the presence of Jalen fucking Brown. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Brown, S tier. Y'all already saw his finals performance. You guys saw that he led the Boston Celtics to the NBA championship with Jason Tatum. He's like that. He's one of the best Robins in the NBA right now. And he loves that role. And he's going to continue playing to the best of his ability. Jalen Brown, S tier. I mean, what else do you expect from a Boston Celtics fan? I mean, come on. Who the fuck is this guy? 
Okay, this is Chris Duarte. I, I was like, what? The, who the hell is this guy? You had a really good start to your rookie season, my boy. You did. You were averaging like 27 points on like three games. Small sample size. When 2020 hit, when that calendar flipped, I didn't hear your name at all. I was trying to watch Pacers games and you just weren't there. I think you had an injury. I think that's why. Um, I might be bogus as hell for saying that. You're going right here as well. You just came off one of your worst seasons yet. He was like a very, very good three-point shooter like a couple seasons ago, but he's fallen off. Fallen off, fallen off, fallen off, fallen off, fallen off. They could play on me. I know, I know English. Max Struess, you're going right here at C. Um, very good playoff performance from you, my guy. But there is this one thing that's putting you right here, and that's you going over 16 in the Eastern Conference Finals. Throughout the whole entire time, you went over 16, my guy. And then when you want to make a shot, you want to make the toughest shot you've ever taken. Like, come on, bro. Celtics legend, though. We already know. If you know, you know. Jalen Green. Ah. You know, at the beginning of the season, you were looking you were looking really bad. I'm not going to lie. You were looking really bad. But towards the end of the season, you know, you, you kind of grow on me a little bit, bro. Pause. Pause. I'm going to push you at B. You know what I'm saying? This might be a little bit of Rockets bias because my friends are Rockets fans. And I pay attention to the Rockets a lot. But this might be a little bit of rocket bias, but you're going in B. I think that if the Rockets do compete, he will be their leading scorer. He will be their number one option on the offensive end of the ball. And he will be their offensive anchor. So I love it, man. The final guy who will be going in S tier is Paul George. And people aren't going to like this one. I believe that Paul George is still the best shooting guard in the whole entire league. You guys can argue if it's Devin Booker. I think it's Paul George. He's the only guy out of every single person here who is very, very good on the offensive end and the defensive end while being efficient and a very good playmaker. He's a jack of all trades. Even after that horrific injury that he faced in the Olympics where he can't even really deny it. From 2020, one of the lowest points of his whole entire career, hitting that side of the damn backboard, pandemic P, way off P, PG, PG 13%. He bounced back the next season, bro, and carried the Clippers to the Western Conference Finals after Kawhi Leonard went down. I don't know why I was about to call him Kawhi Leonard. Paul George, best shooting guard in the league, if you ask me, and I think he's S tier. Malik Monk, you going in B tier, my boy. Just signed with the Kings. I wish the Lakers would have at least tried to keep him. Now the Kings have him. I think he's going to be very, very good for them. And he actually compliments De'Aaron Fox a lot, which I absolutely love. And the final guy that we have on this list is Zach Levine. You're going in A tier. I really wish I could put you in the S tier. That's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully you guys liked the video. I'm going to be making a small forward video here very, very soon. I don't know when that's going to be up. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Subscribe. Pumping out videos every single day. I'll see y'all later. I'm out this bitch.